Hey everyone, Scott here from Simple Mechanic Advice. Today we are going to look at engine malfunction reduced power warning. Here's what it means. The reduced power warning light alerts the driver that the engine is not functioning optimally. The light is usually triggered when the vehicle's onboard computer notices an issue with the emissions or powertrain system. Here's what causes it. Sensor malfunction. Modern vehicles have several sensors, such as the mass airflow, MAF, and oxygen sensors, that assess various engine performance aspects. When these sensors fail or malfunction, they may affect serious processes like fuel injection, which will, in turn, lower engine performance and trigger the warning light. Bad throttle assembly and system. Issues in the throttle system, be it from the throttle body, throttle position sensor, TPS, or its associated wiring, may result in the reduced engine power warning light coming on. This system regulates the engine's air intake, resulting in incorrect intakes when it goes bad. More or less engine air intakes will result in running lean or rich, affecting performance and possibly triggering the warning light. Clogged Emission System Clogs in your car's emission system, such as in the catalytic converter, will deteriorate the engine's performance. This lowered engine performance may trigger the warning light, especially if the underlying issue is not addressed early enough. Here are the solutions to try. Fix or replace malfunctioning parts. Locate and fix reparable parts, such as frayed or loose sensor wires, that may trigger the warning light. If the faults are beyond repair, the components should be replaced with new parts with similar manufacturer specifications. Replace clogged components. Assess clog-prone components such as the fuel and air filters or the catalytic converter if blocked. Replace the components if blocked to clear the issue. Once the underlying issues have been resolved, resetting the vehicle's onboard computer is vital. This can be done by temporarily disconnecting the car battery or using an OBD tool. This reset will turn off the warning light if it is still illuminated. If you're unsure about diagnosing or repairing these issues yourself, it's always a good idea to consult a professional mechanic. Attempting repairs without the right tools or expertise could cause further damage to your vehicle. Thanks for watching.